What? We got more info on the Brawl Pass coming. In the Brawl Pass will be a new rarity of a brawler called Chromatic Rarity. That's right, we got a new rarity coming to Brawl Stars and it has its own category. Every brawler that's going to be in the Brawl Pass will be Chromatic Rarity. And here is how it works. <laughs> It sounds a little complicated, but it's actually not that complicated. Look, basically when the Brawl Pass comes out, there will be a brawler in it that will be Chromatic Rarity. If you do not buy the pass, that brawler will have the drop chance of a legendary brawler, but only for the first, I don't know if it's a season, only for that first pass. Uh, whatever it is, whether it's a month or however long that pass is, it's only going to be a legendary drop rate for that period of time. Once the next pass comes out, that drop rate will decrease to a mythic rarity, and then when the next pass comes out, the drop rate will again decrease to epic rarity. So, every chromatic brawler will decrease in drop rate all the way down until epic for every extra pass that comes out. So after two passes from whenever a new brawler was released that was in the Brawl Pass, it will be an epic rarity brawler. So I know free-to-play players right now have got to be wondering a lot about their fate and future with the game and their ability to unlock brawlers. I mean, right now, it's presumably going to be pretty difficult for you to unlock a new brawler that's in the Brawl Pass because it will have a legendary drop rate for the first, presumably, month, and even then, Mythic drop rate for the next month, and that's almost, it feels like the same as a Legendary drop rate, even though it's not exactly, but it will eventually become an epic drop rate, and it also sounds like, just to clarify, that they're not only going to be releasing Brawlers in the Brawl Pass from here on, although, admittedly, you would presume that they would, just because if they're doing a Brawl Pass every month, that's one new Brawler every Brawl Pass, presumably, they don't have to, I guess, but even still, if they did that, I mean, it, that's at least a one new brawler every month, and then if they want to have more brawlers on top of that, well, that's just a lot of work, and they haven't really done anything like that before, although they can do a lot of work fast. I don't know, it sounds like a lot. But we'll have to see, let's also try to get more of the actual full details for how the Brawl Pass will work, what sort of rewards it will be. Maybe there's other great stuff that even outweighs the value of getting that chromatic rarity brawl. Now, by the way, I didn't mention this, but if you buy the Brawl Pass, you will automat- not- I'm not sure if it's automatic, but you will guarantee that you will get whatever that chromatic rarity brawl is for that brawl pack. And also, I want to talk about some of the concerns that a lot of free-to-play players have been having. There's been a lot of different memes on Reddit, as always, I guess. But in this case, there's been a lot of memes about the brawl pass, and a lot of people are really concerned, or they're complaining a lot, about maybe, you know, rip free-to-play players, you know, they're gonna be gone. I mean, for example, right here. Oh, here comes Brawl Pass. Rip these games? Is that really how it works? Please, Super Sound. Now, next one right after that, you know, 3,000 upvotes each. A lot of people seem to be a little upset about the option of a Brawl Pass in Brawl Star. But I do want to caution people to not react too much before we get the full details. After then, Feel free to react, and if you think after the full details that Supercell deserves to be flamed, or whatever you think it is, I mean, hopefully constructive, then go ahead and do it. But please wait for the full details. I actually don't know the full details myself. They're keeping us, they're ringing us through the loop just as they are for you, at least for now. I will get all the sneak peeks ahead of time at some point, but I think they like to do it last minute to try to minimize any potential leaks, which is fair and makes sense. But as soon as I'm able to tell you guys, I will tell you guys everything I can. But one thing I think a lot of people are presuming, including myself, is that there will be some extra free-to-play rewards with a Brawl Pass, just like a lot of other Battle Passes tend to have. For example, I think this meme right here kind of talks about it pretty well. Just because a Brawl Pass is coming doesn't by default mean that the game is going to become more pay to win, so to speak. It all depends on how they do it. For example, if they have extra free-to-play rewards, like a huge uh, free-to-play road where you can get extra rewards just by completing stuff, and then if you want the even extra, extra rewards, like the new Brawler, uh, then you can go ahead and pay to get that, just like you already some people already pay for token doublers to increase their progress in the game, or they just pay straight up to buy Brawlers. 
or whatever. So, I mean, hopefully we will get also a good amount of free-to-play stuff with the Brawl Pass, or even just in general with the update. That would be fine as well, but we'll have to see. Now, this was also a highly upvoted meme, the most highly upvoted one about the Brawl Pass. And then, of course, it's the most highly upvoted because they're asking for free stuff. Basically, they say, if you complete Trips Road, you should get the first one for free. But that would be, like, almost... 5% of the players in the game right now, I think that's a little bit less, but I mean the trophy just amount just keeps on climbing. Maybe it's somewhere like 3% of players, but that's still a lot of players to get free, a lot of free stuff, presumably. So uh, that's definitely not happening. Also, since we're looking at memes, what about this one? The uh, really one of the only other ones, well, highly upvoted ones about the Brawl Pass. Remember this guy? This is him now. <laughs> it's actually... Not bad. They are both tickets. And the title is, is this why tickets are being removed? It's a good question. We don't know why tickets are being removed yet. It does look like a ticket, admittedly, but I'm betting it's unrelated. I think they've been pretty unsatisfied with ticket events for a while. A lot of us have been unsatisfied with them. So they definitely need some sort of changes. And I guess one of the ways they thought about improving ticket events to do that, they had to remove tickets. Whether that's because they're going to add some event where it doesn't make sense to use tickets for it, or they just have some totally different idea for ticket events, we'll have to see. But I guess we'll find out somewhat soon anyways. By the way, take this new user rendition idea for what the Brawl Pass could look like. Do you think this is what it could end up being? A free uh, path right there, Brawl Path right there, emote, new music, emote. Login screen? Different login screen? Eh, I don't know about that. But one thing that does make sense about this, which um, is maybe how it does now that I think about it, is perhaps the Brawl Pass, you get each new item or unlockable by gaining trophies. Just however many trophies you gain over that season, or whether it's going to be called a season or whatever, that Brawl Pass... I imagine that would make the most sense. And then if you're a new player, it's fine that it's easier because you know what, whatever you're a new player, it's no big deal that it's a little bit easier for them to get the rewards. That should be fine. They should need the new rewards better or more. And then I guess the other question is, is the new brawler that is in the Brawl Pass, is that gonna be unlocked at the very end, the last thing you unlock? Or is it gonna be somewhere closer to the middle? Because of course we all wanna unlock that new brawler right away. And especially, let's be real here, um, what about those gemming videos, right? Gemming and unlocking the new brawler. Those are fun for some people. and They do well on YouTube anyways. I mean, how are we going to be able to unlock that new brawler on day one of it being out? I imagine they would want you to be able to get every new brawler on day one, whenever they come out. So, maybe you get it automatically just by buying the Brawl Pass. You don't even have to gain trophies or whatever. Or is it gonna be a middle low reward or something? I'm not sure, we'll have to see. Also, remember that video I did a couple days ago where I went over all these really cool ideas for new brawlers? Well, the guy who made like six of those ideas just did another one and I wanna share it with you because I thought it was really cool. It's something I would love to see. Brawl Stars, maybe it could even be something like the new brawler or brawlers maybe that's coming to Brawl Stars. We'll have to see. Finn is a robotic fishbowl, what? Who, with the help of his air-breathing friend, Gil, is a formidable foe. To attack, he fires out a small gush of water that pierces enemies. The projectile is longer than most. It can damage enemies up to two times if they stay in the water for too long. I've always thought a brawler who could have waves would be a really cool thing. There's a lot of possibilities. Super is a tidal wave capable of knocking back any enemy. And there's more details in the comments here. His gadget is Fish Slap. His friend Gil will use his tail to slap back one enemy within two tiles of him. Knockback is further than that of M's or Gene Gadget, but can only affect one target at a time. Oh, interesting. I actually like that idea. I don't know how hard that would be to make happen, but it would be a good defensive idea. Star Power 1 is Swift Swimmer. Finn gains the ability to swim in water. What? And gains a 20% speed buff when he does... Everyone wants to have a brawler who can swim in water. That would be so cool. Star Power 2, Fountain of Youth. Finn Super heals himself and his teammates for 900 health. All right, that's fair. Actually, that's a lot of health, though. But actually, it's not crazy. I don't know. It seems strong. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll have more update sneak peeks coming soon. So if you don't want to miss out, definitely subscribe. 
you want the notification, hit the bell. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope everyone is staying safe right now. And I'll catch you later. Peace.